Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to capture an entire web page as an image. Now, you might know that you can capture the, the entire screen with, by clicking the print screen button on your keyboard. And then you can go to paint for example and paste the image. Now you get this image. But, what I want to show you is how to, how to capture the entire web page as in this method but even easier so what you have to do is you have to be in Google Chrome this is only for Google Chrome I don't know if there's any way to do it on Firefox or Internet Explorer or something but on Google Chrome there's this extension by Google called screen capture now you what you have to do is go to the Chrome web store and then search for screen capture and you're gonna get these results you click this result by Google and it says here you can capture visible content of a tab a region of a web page or the whole page as a PNG image now you can capture the visible content of a tab and a region of a web page with the print screen button on your keyboard but you know it's also very useful to have this this uh, this app because it, it's going to capture the entire web page as a PNG image and you don't have to even go to paint or anything now let's let's add it to the Chrome let's install it and let's see how it works okay so now it's right here now let's try it on the website let's click on it and then for this time we're going to use capture whole page and as you can see it's capturing piece by piece and it's pasting it together and then it opens this new tab with the whole image and as you can see it's it's exactly the same now of course as you can see you can't print the image that you know the thumbnail of the videos but I mean that's that's fine I guess so now you can highlight parts as you just saw you can even um, write on it and make lines I don't know for for example I have a, a couple of tutorials one of them is how to make a page on tumblr and I use pictures to show this so for example I can use I use arrows so in this case I could use an arrow like right here even prettier than mine and yeah I mean it can be very useful and you can like delete them if you want to and once you, you do all you want it to you can save it to your computer you can share it and yeah and you, you click save and it saves that as a PNG image so that's that's very nice it's less steps because if you get like the way you have to in every single portion of the website and then paste it and then line it on and that may take a long time if it's like a really detailed web page with a, a lot of graphics and stuff so yeah I hope this helps you um, by the way, I I moved my my blogs to Tumblr. It's now one one blog. Um, and yeah, I hope you can follow me if you're on Tumblr, or subscribe over here to the RSS feed on your reader. And yeah, please leave me comments and. You can also share it on Twitter or Facebook or, or even on Google Plus. Um, by the way, um, I plan making a Google Plus profile, but um, the ones that are right now, it's only for people. So there's going to be some for businesses and, and things like that, so I'm waiting for those. So it can be a proper Google Plus profile. Okay. Well, I hope this helped you, and thank you so much for watching.